Good morning, madam. Your early morning tea. Mm. Hester, mm. come on. Time to get up. Oh, no. I've only just got to sleep. Did you have a bad night? Yeah. What kept you awake? You did. Ah. With your snoring. I don't snore. You what? I do not snore. I may sniffle a bit. You snore. Rubbish. I'll bet even the neighbours heard you. Well, I certainly didn't. Well, count yourself lucky. Not a pretty sound. No, I don't wish to be personal, but I have heard you do it once or twice. But that's neither here nor there. I don't keep you awake night after night. You do exaggerate. Darling, you could shatter a glass at ten paces. You've got to do something about it. Look, one may occasionally snore if one is lying on one's back. Why don't you just give me a prod? I've tried. This finger's worn out. <laughs> no, once you get going, you can do it on your back, on your side, and probably even standing up. It's funny you never mentioned it before. It never used to be so bad. I think you ought to see a doctor. It's not a disease. Could be adenoids. Impossible. Had them out when I was a kid. Maybe you should have them put back. <laughs> what? Well, it might deaden the noise. Listen. <laughs> We never discuss your bad habits. There's a very good reason for that. I haven't got any. Ha! Huh. Well, go on, then. Go on. Rack your brains. Well, for a start, you... You squeeze the toothpaste in the middle and you leave the cap off. <laughs> and you, um... You leave your stocking soaking in the bath, yes? And yesterday, you left the lid off the dustbin. That it? <laughs> That's just from the top of my head. Maybe I should put a lid on that as well. <laughs> Darling, they are bad habits. They're just harmless little qualities. I mean, some husbands would find them endearing. I do not find it very endearing when I go out of the back door and find a load of garbage. Yeah, well, that doesn't keep you awake at night, does no, it? No, but you must admit you are not the tidiest of women. You can talk. What about your drawers? <laughs> we will go into the riveting question of my drawers on another occasion. I'm going to have a bath. Oh, are in the month, isn't it? I heard that. <laughs> well, make sure you take the stockings out first. Uh, three, two, nine, four. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Emma. How are you? Fine. Oh, I'm Peter. Great. And my little grandson. Well, he's not so little now. I just wanted to tell you, he's taken his first step. Oh, bless him. Yeah, he sleeps all day and stays awake most of the night, so I'm not getting a lot of sleep. Snap. What? <laughs> I'm in the same boat. <laughs> Your father's becoming a bit of a problem in bed. I think most men are the same, Ma. I mean, quite honestly. No, darling, darling. darling. <laughs> Talking about snoring, Emma. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, can't you tell him to stop it? Well, he refuses to, to believe he's doing it. Well, I should record it one night and play it back to him. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I might do that sometime. Hester! Oh, hang on. What? Another of your endearing little qualities! <laughs> <laughs> you left the bathtub switched over to the shower. <laughs> Look at me, I'm soaked. I'm sorry, darling. Oh. Ma? Oh, yeah? I'll have to hang up now. The baby needs changing. So does mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come in. It's only Sonia. Hi. <laughs> oh, there's one thing I can't stand. It's ironing. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want me to stop? <laughs> it doesn't bother me that much. Uh, anyway, I won't hold you up. I'll come straight to the point. Right. What do you want to borrow? <laughs> Nothing. Oh. As a matter of fact, I want to lend you something. Well, I uh, can't think of anything I want, actually. Give me a couple of seconds. I might come up with something. It's a dog. A dog? Yes. No, I don't think I need one of those. <laughs> the fact is, I'm in a bit of a spot. It belongs to one of my old ladies. You know, the ones I do Meals on Wheels for. Uh-huh. Well, one of them, Miss Diplock, has had to go into hospital for a few days. And she was so worried about her dog that I said I'd look after it for her. Well, why don't you? Well, it's proving an awful problem. <laughs> what, has it eaten a milkman? <laughs> no, you see, it's John. We found out he's allergic to dogs. He's brought on his asthma, and he's come out in a terrible rash. Well, why don't you put it in kennels? I can't. I promised Miss Diplock I wouldn't do that. And I can't lie to her. Not with the poor old dear in hospital. I and see. the doctor says he can't do a thing for John until the dog's out of the house. Oh, yes. I know it's a lot to ask, but you are my best friend. <laughs> yes, up till now. Oh, he's only a puppy and very affectionate. Will you have him? Well, I don't seem to have much option, do I? 
Well, look at it this way. You'll be making an old lady very happy. Oh, well, as long as you're happy. <laughs> Shall I bring him in? What? You mean he's here now? Yes, in the back garden. What's his name? Oh, I'm glad you reminded me. It's Randolph. Randolph? Could be worse. It is worse. Why? Unfortunately, Miss Diplock shortened it to Randy. <laughs> she what? I know. <laughs> you can call Randolph till you're blue in the face, but it'll only answer to Randy. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said this dog was a bit of a problem. <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get acquainted. <laughs> Heavens, he's enormous. Mm, he's not fully grown yet. What's he going to be when he is? I think she said he's a Doberman crossed with something else. A horse? <laughs> Have a name? Uh, it's Randy. Very likely, but does it have a name? <laughs> oh, come on, get stuck into your dinner. Mm. Yeah. Pretend you've seen the advertisements. Mm? Mm. Oh well. <sighs> Esther, I'm oh. back. Yes, darling. Coming, coming. All right, you lie, doggo. <laughs> oh, darling, had a good day. So, so, how about you? Oh, so, so. Oh, you haven't got a drink. Well, I've only just come through the door. No, come on in, I'll get you one. Oh, trying to make me an alcoholic? <laughs> no, no. A little one won't hurt you. It'll help you unwind. I don't feel wound up. Don't you? Oh, good. Uh, whiskey? Yeah, I'll get it. No, no, no. You sit down and relax. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we haven't had a little kiss yet, have we? <laughs> yeah, that's better, isn't it? Better than what? Well, better than uh, coping with all that business strife and, and fighting the rush hour traffic, you know, all the usual hassles. Now, you just put your feet up and I'll get you a drink. OK, if you say so. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I, I thought it was going to rain today, but it's managed to keep off, hasn't it? Not that I mind, because into each little life, some rain must fall. That's what they say, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I believe they do yes, say that. Mind yes, mind you, life would be very uh, dull without it, wouldn't it? Can't have blue skies forever. Soda. <laughs> Uh, please, yes. Right. <laughs> Try that for size. There, cheers. Uh, uh, you haven't got one yourself? Oh, so I haven't. No, I'll join you in a little minute. I'm in a little sherry. <laughs> Darling. Uh, this is the tall brown bottle, isn't it? Hester? Yes? What's happened? Nothing, nothing. We're just, we're just having a little chat. No, apart from that. Uh, went jogging, shopping, did a bit of ironing. You crashed the car? No, nothing like that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> uh, then Sonia came round. And? And then oh, we had a little chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Poor old John's not too well. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, so I, I said to her, Is there, if there's anything... What was that? Well, I think it's a dog. Of course it's a dog. <laughs> Sounds as if it's in this house. Ah, oh, I, I knew there was another thing I had to tell you. Uh, you bought a dog? No, no. Sonia's lent us one. I don't want one. No, well, neither do I, but it's only for a few days, darling. Sonia had to look after it for an old lady because she had to go into hospital. What with, rabies? <laughs> no, a checkup. And uh, it's a very, very nice dog, but not too popular with John because he's developed asthma and broken out in a rash. I didn't know dogs caught asthma. <laughs> no, not the dog, John. He's oh. allergic to them. So I said to Sonia that we'd look after the dog, just for a few days. You know? uh -huh. he's, he's only a puppy. Uh. You're too kind-hearted, oh. you know that? Oh, listen. Don't you want to go meet him? Not a lot. All right, I suppose so. <coughs> What's his name? Um, we won't go into that just at the moment. <laughs> I shan't be calling him that. I thought you said it was a puppy. Oh, it's one of the hounds of the Baskerville. Come <laughs> on then, get stuck into your dingins. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's inert. 
<laughs> no, he's just shy. He's shy about eating in front of his new daddy, your new baby. Come on, then, we'll have ours, shall we? Yeah, good idea. I'm starving. Well, <laughs> Randolph, what have you done? You thieving hound! No, that was my dinner! That was my dinner! I brought a bone. Oh, hello, William. Oh, it's nice to see you playing with him. I wasn't playing with him. I'm trying to kill him. <laughs> what? Well, he's, he's eaten our steaks. Yeah. Oh, what a nuisance. <laughs> nuisance? I was hoping to borrow one. Out! <laughs> Uh, darling! Uh, William! Is it time to get up? Are you awake? No. I want you to listen to something. What time is it? Uh, 2 a.m. Well, why are we listening to the radio? No, not a radio. Well, it looks like a radio. It's a recording. A record? Are you nuts? No, just tired. Now pay attention. Uh, don't we usually listen? Don't we usually go to sleep at this hour? Yes. <laughs> you do, but not me. Now, listen. Well, I can't hear anything. You will. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's that? That is you. <laughs> that's not me. That's the dog. Well, I only wish it was. It's no, not I, very attractive. I don't make that sort of noise. Oh, yes, you do. I've got bags under my eyes to prove it. Turn it off. No, 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 no. The best is yet to come. <laughs> no, lay down, boy. Lay down. Lay down. Good oh, boy. Shut up. Good boy. All, all right. right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, don't get up. <laughs> Come on, boy. Now, wait a minute, Randolph. Wait a minute. There's a good boy. <laughs> Come on, walkies. I'm sure he will. It'll match his eyes. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> I thought I'd knit him a cardigan for Christmas. Well, you certainly started in plenty of time. Well, I haven't tackled one before, but it's nice to have something handmade. And he liked his scarf last year. Oh, yes, yes. And the year before. Get out! Sit! Get out! Go on, into the kitchen! Go on! <sighs> Did he enjoy his walk? He did. I didn't. <laughs> well, you've been out a long while. Yeah, I was trying to catch him. <laughs> and I don't advise anyone going round the common at this time of night shouting out Randy. <laughs> you could get yourself arrested. <laughs> I very nearly was. Oh, the poor creature's had so many owners lately. No wonder he's confused. Yeah. Well, we'll give him back to Sonia. And his confusion. Oh, no, we can't do that. Poor John hasn't recovered yet. Nor have I. <laughs> you ought to take that dog to a class, Hester. Well, painting or keep fit? <laughs> <laughs> but don't be silly, dear. I mean an obedience class. My friend, Mrs. Robertson, has one twice a week in the church hall, and she has remarkable results. Well, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. What do you think, darling? There's no point. We've only got him for a few days, thank God. Well, let's do it as a favour for the old lady. Count me out. You do it. Oh, she prefers it if you go as a couple. Oh, it's a great idea. What can we lose? With any luck, the dog. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. and Mrs. 
this field. <laughs> nice looking dog. <laughs> Doberman, isn't it? Yes, it's a cross, actually. A cross between a Doberman and a bloody nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> Start, huh? Right, sit down. That's it. That's it, Mrs. Hedger. Go on, Bonnie. Good girl. That's the way. Over we go. Is it good? Come here, come here, come here. Come Hurry up now. You're late. So sorry. We didn't bring a note either. Oh, Would you just take a seat, please? Yes, yes. This way. Come on, boy. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on, this way. Come on. Come on. Oh, dear. We are in a state, aren't we? Uh, can I have the name, please? Yes, it's uh, Randolph. Oh, would you sit down, Mr. and Mrs. Randolph? Oh, no. <laughs> My dog's name is Randolph. Uh, our name is Fields. Well, would you sit down, Mr. and Mrs. Fields? You're holding up the class. Will you try telling the dog that? It's yes, all in good time. Attention, please, everybody. Most of you already know what we are trying to achieve is a happy dog. <laughs> and do we all remember what a happy dog is? An obedient dog. That's right. Very good. Well done. And the three golden rules are what? Walk, heal, heal sit. sit. <laughs> Splendid. Now, that's not too difficult, is it, Mr. Fields? No, no, no. <laughs> Would you like to try it? Yes, yes. Walk, heal, sit. Good. That was not too difficult, was it? No, no. I don't think he's quite cottoned on yet. <laughs> he will do. As soon as he's mastered that, the rest is easy. Right. Now, Mrs. Hemmings, would you like to demonstrate for our newcomers? Oh, yes. Oh, watch this. Skippy. Whoop. Hee-hoo. 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 Oh, that's oh. good. Yes, that's not bad. Be a bit more definite on your heel and firmer on your sit. <laughs> right, would you like to sit down? Now, let me see you try that, Mrs. Fields. Come on, get your bottom up. Right, I'll do my best. <clears throat> Walk. No, firmer. Walk. Firmer. Walk. <laughs> heel. And sit. 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 <laughs> no, not you, Mr. Fields. Now, let's see if you can do it as well as your wife. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Walk. Walk. Here, <laughs> Randy. Oh, Randy! Oh, come on, please. Sorry, Mrs. Robertson. Whatever you do, don't bring him again. No, no, he is actually only on loan. I meant your husband. <laughs> No. I need a stiff drink. Yes, well, you want to go steady, you know. I, I think it's the booze that makes you snore. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame Randolph. Yeah, he must be a bit of a handful for an old lady. Yeah, no wonder she finished up in hospital. <laughs> Probably drying out. All right, I heard it. <laughs> Oh, you're back. Good. Can I come in? I suppose so. You don't seem very pleased to see me. Oh, don't be put off by my gruff tone. Deep down, I'm livid. Oh. <laughs> Sorry if I've caught you at a bad moment. Only I've come to take the dog back. Sonia, I love you. <laughs> you little angel. <laughs> it's only Sonia. Oh, hi, Sonia. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's come to take Randolph back. Oh, really? I hope you don't mind. Well, it'll be a bit of a wrench. But we'll put up with it. <laughs> Only Miss Diplock rang to say she was home again, so I said I'd take him round this evening. Ah. You're going home to your mummy. Has he been a good boy? Oh, we've hardly known he was here. Yeah. He's been a perfect pest, a guest. <laughs> uh, I mustn't rush you. Mustn't keep the old lady waiting, must we? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. 
She may have to go into hospital again next month, so I may have to board him out again. Oh, well, be sure to give us plenty of warning. Why? Will you be going away? Definitely. <laughs> Well, I suppose we're just not as young as we were. In the old days, we had dog and a cat, two kids. We seemed to cope all right. <laughs> William. Yes? You're at it again. I never touched you. Snoring. I was not. Look, darling, I'm tired. I would like one uninterrupted night of sleep without a dog or a husband waking me. OK, well, turn the light off and settle down. I can't, not with you snorting in my ear. Well, why don't you get some earplugs? Why don't you go and spend the night in the spare room? The spare room? Oh, it's a very nice room. The bed's made up. Oh, I don't care if they've got flowers and a string quartet. I'm not going. Please, darling, try no. it just for tonight. No. Why not? Because separate rooms could mark the end of our marriage. Yes, well, it won't end it any sooner than this. <laughs> Turn it off. Please, darling, I'm not asking much, am I? Just one quiet night. <sighs> OK. To please you, I'll go. Good night. Well, don't take the clock. The ticking might wake you up. <laughs> don't sound so offended. Offend? Look, for better or for worse, I am to be your husband. Oh, don't take it so personally, darling. I wouldn't like sleeping with a man who snored, whoever he was. <laughs> oh, well, that makes me feel much better. Where am I? In the spare room. Oh. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Just a minute. What are you doing here? Well, I couldn't get to sleep. Why not? Well, I think I've become addicted to your snoring. <laughs> Just not the same without it. And you've woken me from a deep sleep just to tell me that. I thought you'd be pleased. <sighs> you know something? I've just discovered another of your endearing little qualities. Uh, <laughs> forgiveness. Insanity. 